so hi, my name's Tanya. And the following two pieces that Susie and I will read um, actually come out of a dance piece that we did together. Um, Susie, and, uh, Susie and I have been dancing for several years, but um, we took a class together several years ago. And um, we were doing a duet and we got into a position together that we call <laughs> the row, row, row your boat position. Um, the two of us are pretty spastic. And so we're, if I can describe it, we're kind of laying, or we're, oh, <laughs> we're opposite each other and we're holding each other's hands sort of crossways. And we're kind of moving back and forth. And then when we actually did the dance piece, there's more to that. But, um, but this is basically the written pieces that came out of that initial experience that we had in class, right? So, well, my, my daddy helped me for that because my arm, my right arm has already seen uncontrollable <laughs> and so um I need it more <laughs> and I wrote this piece before the dance and she heard it and, oh, no. and yeah. And so when we did the dance, her piece is what she was thinking about. Yeah. So I remember now, we were doing an actual live show together, and I had heard Susie's piece on Maurice, and then we had the dance class, and then I sort of made a response to that yeah. whole thing. Yeah. Um, so do you want to read yours first? Yes. <laughs> do you want me to hold it? Yes, yes, yes. Due to my disability, I have very little control of my body, especially my right arm. It has a mind of its own. And it gets more rebellious as I get older. My personal attainment and I decided to name it Roy. At six months old, Roy started killing me. Two colors. Once I woke up from my nap, screaming, my mom ran into the room to find my yanking my hair as hard as he could. <laughs> Maurice is most rebellious. When my attention is on him, for example, I'll be getting my chest from my door and he'll reach up and hit my arm clock. Every time I'll be doing something and I'll put him behind me so he can't do anything. But he still manages to knock over a lamp whatever in his reach. Then there are times when I'm asleep and he'll 
Clarenburg was right in the face. <laughs> I used to feel so out of control when the thing would happen. Now that I need more, things are different. I just laugh at what he does and go on with what I'm doing. It's like always having a little kid with me. Now <laughs> testing how far I let him go. <laughs> I met Maurice in dance class. He seemed particularly attached to Susie. <laughs> I wondered if Juan knows about him, I thought. When I reached out to shake his hand, it was cold and clammy. His fingers were stiff, yet smooth and knobby, like the trunk of a tree. I wondered if he was a Republican. <laughs> when we danced, I kept a firm, steady grip on Maurice's wrist. And just when I thought I was getting through, Maurice retreated suddenly. Hold on, Susie said. It took every effort I had to keep a hold of Maurice's fingertips and pull him back into our conversation. I wonder sometimes, how can I get Maurice to open up? Try holding on to my other arm and lean this way, Susie said. What if we crossed our arms? So we did. I could not believe my eyes. Maurice opened up and said hello. Hello, I said, by moving my thumb to the middle of Maurice's wrist and giving it a gentle squeeze. I spent the next few moments keeping my voice soft and sweet, slowly but surely stroking his palm and fingers. It never ceases to amaze me how much men respond to sticky sweetness. <laughs> the more we talked, the more we, could, the more we liked each other. I felt so lucky and blessed to be part of, of this moment with Susie, especially because I know how frustrating it can be to not have full control of your body. Susie, Maurice, and I agreed that we had a lot in common. Maybe we'll meet up for coffee sometime.